Hi, I'm Callie Yanta, and welcome to the Minnesota Marriage Minute, where we look at issues related to the proposed Marriage Protection Amendment. If you've been following past episodes, you know that a major theme of our campaign is that children do best when raised by their married mother and father. Today we'll look at important new research that shows that children raised by a parent who has had a same-sex relationship are significantly worse off compared with those raised by their traditionally married parents. Gay marriage advocates have maintained for a long time that there are no differences in outcomes for children raised by same-sex parents as compared with those raised by a married mom and dad. But two important new academic studies show that the no differences claim is false. In fact, there are very significant, highly negative outcome differences between those raised by a same-sex parent and those raised by their married parents. The new Family Structures study conducted by researchers at the University of Texas, Austin, is the first large-scale, random sample, peer-reviewed and published study to look at outcomes based on family structure. They surveyed 2,988 young adults between the ages of 18 and 39, including 248 with a parent who has had a same-sex romantic relationship. The research was designed by eight highly acclaimed academics, and the results were critiqued by several reviewers, including gay marriage supporters, and they support the quality and integrity of the research. The Family Structure Study looked at 40 different social, emotional, and relational outcomes. On 25 of the 40 outcomes, young adults raised in a family structure that included a same-sex parent are worse off than those raised in an intact family with married parents. Some of the most compelling differences. They are 10 times more likely to have been touched sexually by an adult, 4 times more likely to have been forced to have sex against their will. 30% less likely to identify themselves as being heterosexual, three times more likely to have had an affair, four times more likely to currently be on public assistance, and nearly four times more likely to have been on welfare while growing up. They are more than three times as likely to be unemployed and experience less educational attainment. They are more than twice as likely to have had a sexually transmitted disease, more than twice as likely to have had thoughts of suicide, and more than twice as likely to have been in therapy. In fact, there was no outcome where they were more positively impacted. Now, a separate study by researcher Lauren Marks analyzed prior studies on gay parenting and found that they were unreliable because the sample size for the study was too small, essentially self-selected study participants. Certainly, more independent research by objective scientists needs to be conducted. But it is troubling that gay marriage activists have been attempting to redefine marriage using the now discredited claim that there are no differences for children raised by same-sex parents. The evidence shows that there are many major, highly negative differences. Now let's be clear about this. Nobody is saying that gay parents don't love their children. But a same-sex couple cannot give children what they don't have, which is the love of both a mom and a dad. Kids do best when they are raised in an intact household by their mother and father. And society has a compelling interest in promoting what is clearly the best context for a child's development and future well-being. And that is exactly what the Marriage Protection Amendment is designed to achieve. To learn more about the Marriage Protection Amendment, please go to minnesotaformarriage.com. I'm Callie Yanta. Thank you for watching.